Hello, <clears throat> welcome to Terrarius. This is our guide to Terrarius. We've been uh, mining for a bit, and then we uh, saved the world, and then it uh, crashed. The computer crashed, the whole computer froze. And we came back, and then your character is deleted. So we'll just uh, show what happened here, because uh, if we create a new character, we'll just create one. And then the world. So we can't uh, play him for some reason if he's reset to zero. If we're just showing like 33 or 36 hours or something, we were mining for a long world, long time. And the world is also deleted. You can't play load fail, load backup. No backup found. Because if you go to here, oh, this one, players, my games. If you go to whatever your computer, may, my PC, my documents, my games, and then Terraria. <clears throat> then you go to players. So here's the players where the players are saved. So we're in the main screen. So everything was uh, deleted. The players <clears throat> and the world. The world does not work. If we tried to uh, back up the world, right? If we went here, if we did this, if we go like uh, this, delete these worlds, and then do the uh, back world. <clears throat> if we go like this, it might uh, also also not work. So then if actually, if we go to our recycle bin, they save them, right? That does not work. So there's no world anymore. There's no player anymore. So might as well just go here. My games, Terraria, worlds. <clears throat> so this world does not work. But if you go to your uh, recycle bin, if you actually go to your recycle bin, it uh, saves the worlds. You'll see guide backup saved uh, 117, 110. They created oh date modified 1057 yeah so the game saves up saves your worlds every 10 minutes if you have auto saved on so 1107 1057 1047 1037 1027 so every 10 minutes it'll back up your world and then delete it into the recycle bin so the way that we got our world back is we went to the recycle bin we sorted by what sort by date modified date deleted yeah, sort by date deleted and then have it so that the newest ones are up here right yeah so you just go sort by date deleted and then all your newest ones would be up here up at the top sort by date modified maybe it was sort by date modified that we had it at what happened there The way that it, uh, what's shown? What the heck? <laughs> I'm trying to show something here, but then it, uh, completely ruined everything. Well, how it, uh, originally showed it, it would have, uh, saved them in the order that they were deleted. So we just completely messed up everything. But if you, uh, don't touch anything like that, maybe down here is where they were for some reason. 55. We just completely messed up everything. So where's the date modified? <clears throat> For some reason we messed up everything. 706 modified. So these would be the newest ones that were modified. So maybe those are the worlds that we deleted. We deleted this first, okay. 57. So maybe this was uh, after we were doing our things. We were doing things. 47. Then you would find them. Here we go. So this is what it would be like. In your recycle bin, this would be the first one. We just uh, added these later as we were trying to fix it. But essentially, if you recycle bin, you'd see 11, 17, 57, 47. That's right. So you take your newest uh, guide world one back. So you'd say we could uh, restore this one. And then you go to worlds, turn your worlds back. So you just uh, restore the newest one, try that one. Restore it by deleting back. And then it uh, should pop up, there we go. Now if you go to single player, your world is back. So our world is back. So that's how we got our uh, world back. <clears throat> The player, we could not figure out how to get the player back. Because if we restore the player, 
it says that uh, that player does not work as well. So you completely uh, lose your character, <clears throat> although you can uh, save the world. So you save the world by going to the recycle bin. So we did that. Then the player, the player is gone. So we had a backup character. So uh, worlds. So in your backups, right after character was reset, so we just uh, saved it. We had some saves before. We did some guys before. We defeated the game before. Before we did this series said before there <clears throat> so after a character fix reset so this would be the world that we restored so if we copy this this would have been the newest worlds and then the players so the uh, player is completely uh, destroyed he's cracked we haven't figured out how to restore him so what we did is we just went to a backup character so we just took uh, our guy to Terraria from a series before that we didn't really post and then we put this into here so now this player is here so it's not the same player it's not the 33 hours like it would be but he does have max hit points max uh, mana so our world is back and he's kind of the same we need to remake the uh, we need to remake the items that's the main thing that sucks. The thing that sucks is that we're gonna have to remake those items that we combined on the Tinkerer's Workshop. Ah, oh, but the main thing is that we have the uh, summon set, right? The Stardust Helmet. We made this on our other playthrough, so as long as we have the uh, Stardust set, we need to recombine those items. If we have to farm the uh, turtle in the ice biome again, we could make a new expert world. So, another part of this, <clears throat> so this is the world that was deleted. We just about uh, lost everything. The thing that we were worried about is uh, losing everything in these chests, right? All these things in these chests that we collected for 36 hours or something. 33 to 36 hours, somewhere around there. So all these things we were mining in the world, and then we put them in these chests. We're like, uh, we don't want to lose absolutely everything. So the world has been restored pretty much to uh, 10 minutes to before it got corrupted or something. The player's gone. So let's just uh, put these here. So we need to make a new shroomite set. We might need to make new shroomite digging claws. That's no problem. We have a bunch of mushrooms. We have a bunch of chlorophyte. We've been uh, mining so much. So we'll just put like... So that'd be good then, because then we could uh, redo the guys. So we still have our uh, summons here, right? We still have these. Oh, perfect. We still have the uh, wisp. We still have the wisp. <clears throat> Alright. So we still have uh, all these items, all of our things. All of our things are still here. Except that the map is not revealed. So it's like 8 minutes in. Maybe we'll just go fly around the map. So we don't have... We're still missing some things. We don't have a piggy bank. We don't have platforms. Our stack, our stack of platforms is gone. So we needed platforms to uh, put the piggy bank on. So we'll just see if we get some platforms and then just try to set the character up. Maybe it's time to make a new world and go to an expert world. That makes sense. So here's some platforms. We just need uh, platforms here. And then... Oh no, the uh, piggy bank. All of our money is going to be gone, isn't it? because it's stored separate per character. Luckily, we had like 14 platinum. I'm sure we had a whole lot more money. I thought we had like 23 platinum on the other character. But if we go to the general store here, we trade with you, go shop. Uh, so you want to buy like two safes, just so it's uh, stacked here. So when you place a safe on the ground, it won't uh, remove it from here. Right there we just have our summons and our mining pick and then our UFO and then we have our drill containment unit. So the main thing we were worried about was losing our drill containment unit. We lost the uh, mail mirror carts. So we have to get that again because we didn't want to. Uh, we didn't want to get 40 luminite bars, 40 shroomite bars, 40 specter bars, 40 meteorite, 40 hellstone bars just to make another one of these. So as long as we have that, everything's pretty much where it was before. Uh, and then we were on like a different world before too. 
this character was playing on a different world. So we got a vertebrae. <clears throat> so let's just uh, put those here. And then we'll create a new world here pretty soon. Oh, all of our uh, mining potions got deleted. That's right, we had a whole bunch of mining potions. So let's just uh, make some mining potions. I mean, the uh, magic plant ones, these ones. So everything in our character's inventory was deleted. Which wasn't too much. We need to get new staff for regrowth. I'm pretty sure that we got uh, multiple staffs of regrowth. <clears throat> so it's, well, it's a good thing that we explored the map and got all these chests and everything then. Uh, we never did find the water walking boots. And we never found the lava waders. So we'd have to go to a new world anyways. Here we go, a staff of regrowth. <clears throat> so as long as we have that one. Then we have like some water candles. So we need a uh, battle potion. So we'll just reset the character up here again. So we just go to alchemy. Oh, we might need uh, bottles of water. We just got bottles. So we need to create some more. So what we could do is just go to here, the bank, search our blocks, search for sand. Maybe get one stack of sand. Here we go, sand block. And just bring it here to your crafting station. Probably to the furnace. Yeah. So just bring out one stack of sand to the furnace. Glass. Ah, uh, so considering your character and world can actually be corrupted, we're actually probably going to start uh, backing up our characters and saves as we do things. So that was ridiculous. We were sitting here like, uh, what happened to everything? We can't, we can't uh, lose all of our characters, not to everything. <laughs> we're going to have to get a bunch of things. But you could turn the one stack of sand into 499 glass. And then you could create a one stack of bottles. So you just sit here and uh, craft a whole bunch of bottles. This would help you get ready for the next world. So next world, we could build on it. We could just make little uh, combat rooms to farm things that we need. And we could just make like a farm world where we just mine it out or something. If we go here, we have a whole bunch of uh, bottles. So if we go to our sink, we could just uh, fill the bottles of water with here. So usually you'd have to run out, find some water, then you'd uh, stand by the water, and then you'd fill it. Let's see, let's see. Yeah, we deleted like, uh, we defeated like over 1,000, 1,000 corruption, 1,000 corruptors. We got a whole bunch of banners and everything. 1,150. So I think we, uh, copied the old player. It doesn't, uh, save the map. So the map is not saved by the player, but maybe the, uh, kill counts and everything is. We managed to, uh, get the old, the old guy to terrorary, well, yeah. What am I supposed to be for this series? We managed to get uh, his stats for this map, I guess. The kill counter, we managed to save. We just couldn't save the character in his inventory. So if we go here, just uh, throw all these bottles of water in here. Perfect. And then we can just uh, craft. <clears throat> so let's just make a stack of battle potions. So a stack is like 30. So let's make a stack of battle potions. Then we'll just make a stack of uh, speed lunker potions. So there are uh, stacks of 30. I think that's it. Battle potions, speed lunker potions. Oh, maybe hunter potions. Hunter potions so that we can uh, see the enemies. So then we'll just make a stack of hunter potions. Those are the only ones that we really use. These things here. Oh, this one, I have a bug net. So you just throw these weapons here for now. Frost staff, zombie arm. <clears throat> Let's see if we have these banners. Perfect. So we can't put that wood in here because it's a uh, shade wood. It's from a crimson thing. Crimson time blocks. So let's put uh, bottles in a second tab. And then we don't need a axe. Well, that'd be like a hammer. We never pick that up. For the other. This thing just has to stay in here. So then we can hold uh, control or hold alt to favorite this again. 
And I probably always want a uh, bug net. So you go here, go trade with him. And you always want a bug net just in case any of the uh, golden creatures. Golden creatures. Are oh, we have to remake the uh, life form analyzer and everything. We don't have the uh, GPS, we don't have the wreck. All of our accessories are gone, that's terrible. Alright, <clears throat> so we could take uh, Hellstone bars and we could upgrade this uh, butterfly net. We never did that before. Lava proof net. But this thing looks like uh, break plants. Break plants. So you could uh, harvest uh, critters easier. So just 15 Hellstone bars makes the lava proof bug net. Also allows you to catch the uh, creatures down below, down in the underworld. Also, this bag here. Just uh, throw this here. Let's we'll go loot everything. Then maybe we'll save and exit and create a whole new world. Or maybe we'll fly around here for a bit, right? We did clear this whole world. It's not a full moon. Oh, so there's something that we need to get there. <clears throat> so as long as we have those things in the void vault, we can make another void vault. So we're going to want to place one in the other world. Yeah, we'll get a couple, a couple of void vaults. So for those, we defeated the Eater of Worlds a couple of times, so we got a bunch of Shadow Scales. That's it, five? Oh, there must be more, uh, more Shadow Scales somewhere. Maybe we put it in the uh, other chest. Because we defeated him and we got a bunch of Shadow Scales. Maybe it's in a... One of these ones. I thought that we uh, had more. We still have our uh, biome keys, right? Hollowed corruption. Maybe they were on the character or something. We have no idea. Maybe it's in a chest that is full or something. Maybe they would have a uh, quick stack. Oh, there's room in my digging claws right here. Oh, okay. So why is there no shadow scales? I'm sure there is somewhere. We can just go get more then. All you have to do is defeat the Eater of Worlds. So I'm not sure why the game crashed and why it corrupted everything. Ah, oh, so we just need Shadow Scales. <clears throat> we defeated him at home, so let's just go defeat him again. All we have to do is uh, mine some mine some of those Shadow Orbs. I think we just needed bones, bones, rotten chunks, bones, rotten chunks. And then we just needed Shadow Scales. So we just need to go defeat the Corruption. So it sucks the map's not revealed anymore. The map uh, was completely revealed because we were looking at it. We're like, uh, cool, we mined like absolutely everything in the map. Absolutely. Everything's pretty much mined. We're just gonna go here look for some shadow orbs to try to destroy over here. We destroy two shadow orbs over to the left side, and then we summon the eater, and then uh, our minion to kill them. Screams that boat. So it is acting like we just uh, defeated our first orb. No, there's the other one. Maybe we did that near the end. Should be. Should be. Should be. Should be. Should be. Should be. 
minions just eat the eater world right out before you do anything. Meteorite has landed. <coughs> cool. So we're talking about a meteorite too. We haven't seen a meteorite for so long. So now we have 60 shadow scales. So now we have to go find an altar. Is there any more shadow orbs here? Maybe we'll go get some meteorite as well. I think there are more shadow orbs here. So we go look for the meteorite. That's something new. Just go through the map, find everything if you want. So we're just gonna go see if we can find the meteorite site. Oh, so those things. Uh, so those things you could catch, right? Like that. these things here. Pink fairies. So would be pink fairies, green fairies, blue fairies, and they would uh, spawn above these logs at night sometimes. So we cleared out a bunch of the tower. We can't see it because of the map, because uh, it's not revealed anymore, but uh, we did mine out a little bit. Meteorite would be on the outer thirds of the map, so we find it right around here somewhere if it did land. If it's not here, then it'd be on the other side. And the uh, ocean, we completely destroyed the ocean on the one side. Here, I guess it's a lot lower, but on the other side, the ocean's not existing. So we might as well just get some uh, corals here before we go. And then we'll just uh, go over here. So the meteorite was on the other side. Maybe we'll just go down here and show what we cleared. We pretty much cleared the entire map. So looking on the map, it was like everything was up. Uh, so we could have our iron potion to see if we could find anything. And then our uh, void bag should be carried. So we didn't really find out all of the ores. We know there was a ore to be right over what we were doing is just going through the map, mining uh, all of the ores, mining all of the pots, mining any uh, herds we've seen. There's so many blink roots down here. So many blink roots. And as we go through and see the map, you see there's like, uh, not really too many ores or gems or anything. Sometimes there's just uh, mushrooms and herbs. So we sat here mining. So we're like, uh, we were recording. We're like, uh, all we're doing is literally mining and mining and mining. down here. Oh, we could go to the uh, underworld. That was something we were going to do too as well. There's like, uh, there's pots in there. Oh, and then we just uh, mined to the underworld. So we didn't find a lava charm, so that would give us a reason to start a new world. <coughs> I can't believe you have to make the uh, wreck and everything, and the GPS and everything. Okay. That means we're gonna have to wait for the traveling merchant, which might be better in the expert world, I guess. So you might have a chance to sell an additional item. If you go here, you can mine as much uh, obsidian as well. I think we had stacks of obsidian. gonna go to the underworld here. We can just mine a whole bunch of hellstone for a bit too. That'd be something to do. And we uh, defeated Plantera a whole bunch of times. So when you're going through the jungle, going through the jungle, Plantera respawns. <coughs> we got a whole bunch of uh, pink bricks. Oh, we don't have a uh, pink bricks. 
So if your inventory is space, you can just uh, place your safe down here and deposit everything. And then you just uh, go back in your flying machine. So to sell the biome chest, we still have to go to the dungeon to pick the golden chests up. As well. So we'll just see what's in here, just a whole bunch of random things. So you go to the dungeon, you can loot all the paintings if you want, you can loot all the uh, chests that were there that you didn't really get. You get the pink dungeon break, so there's like three different dungeons. You can find the pink dungeon, I think the uh, blue dungeon, and maybe the green dungeon. Also the uh, furniture, I don't think you can craft the furniture. Same with the back walls, you can take the uh, back walls of the dungeon, because uh, you can't craft the back walls of the dungeon. Just something to do for more building materials. See the dungeon is pretty much explored, we got uh, a lot of so, Oh, yeah, so we don't have space. So we can just place the chest down here. We can uh, deposit everything. And then we can also place the platforms and place the piggy bank and then we uh, deposit everything and then we just uh, go in our flying machine and just uh, find these again and then we have inventory space so that's pretty cool if we're down out of space we can let's just do that and we go to town and then we'll probably bank like we have there all these ores and stuff we're just uh, collecting them in case we want to build something with them you should have the jewels and everything. And if you're crafting uh, chests, iron ore is used to craft chests. And the uh, these ores are probably just for building materials or something. So if the uh, weapons and armor won't help us anymore at this point. The oops. So let's go see if we can find an altar that was up over here, there's tons of uh, shipper thorns now. So we just have a couple more pots again. So whatever this is, there's some titanium that we forgot in the world. Yeah, so we're gonna have to kill those turtles again to get the uh, turtle shell from the frozen. I think we had two paladin shields anyways. So different having the map all revealed again. The thing we were trying to do is make some uh, shadow vaults, <coughs> which was just uh, defeating the Eater of Worlds and then finding a altar, which uh, should be over here. Should be right down here. As long as we didn't kill this one. Over here, did we accidentally uh, destroy it? <laughs> and we did. Uh, so it was right here. This is where it uh, symbolized. There's where it is, right below here. So that's the case. There was more. Another thing we could do is go to the uh, dungeons. Go to the dungeons, get all the gold chests. Go to the underworld, get all of the shadow chests. Really here. So let's just uh, go back home then. Uh, let's just uh, quick stack everything. Alright. We go to the safe, loot everything. Let's go run around and then quick stack. So we got 60 shadow skills, that's alright. Let's go to all of your banks and you just uh, loot everything. You just uh, run around and quick stack everything, and then just uh, do the same until all of these are empty. So we 
see that the dungeon bricks aren't quick stacking. So we can just go here. These are just a uh, building block chest. So we can throw pink dungeon bricks, purple ice blocks, and then quick stack. There we go. So everything's empty. Just uh, keep your money in your piggy bank. And then we just go here. Stack everything. So those are the uh, fairies I've caught. It says, hey, listen, just like the uh, Legend of Zelda. Pink dungeon door. <clears throat> so I guess we didn't get any pink dungeon doors yet. This would be like furniture. Shell can be so much of the shells. I can hold put the shells as. Let's just put them here for now. I have all this lamp. So I guess we don't have too much room for furniture. Need another furniture chest. Uh, sand blocks. Just throw sand blocks in one of the building things. And then an uh, ancient shadow helmet. So that'd be like a armor. Then we have our uh, two weapons over here. Whoops. So now we just throw the weapons in the weapons chest. Uh, so yeah, we just needed uh, bones. So we could throw the fairy. Over here above the cooking pot, things that you catch with the bug net and foods. We just have a uh, silver ore. So throw the ore in here. The cursive flame should stack in the middle of that. Maybe the shadow orb, so that's like a light pet. Oh, so we can put this right here then. So we have that. Then we just need a rotten chunk. Then if we could find an altar, we could make that thing. There we go. Gonna loot everything here if we want. Just uh, head out. <clears throat> so the UFO would fly faster. Uh, so we could just look for the meteorite, I guess. So here's the pyramid, right? That we did have it all explored before. You know? So we've seen how it looked. So the map looked uh, really good when it was fully explored. Although we can't uh, show you how it looks unless we fully explore it again. So let's just hope that our character doesn't get deleted anymore, right? Oh, I think we're collecting uh, bamboo. Yeah, we're just in the jungle collecting right now. Jungle trees grow and then uh, bamboo. Just collect random things in the world. Stop the uh, meteorite could actually essentially spawn below the world. We've had that before where the meteorite spawned. We we're looking for it, we couldn't find it, and it was actually <clears throat> on the bottom of one of the corruption places. So, like, if we don't find it, you know, it could be possible. Uh, so it's literally down here in one of these corruption places. So, nice blowing altar. Restarted the map because we couldn't find the meteorite. We couldn't find it. And we did eventually find it when we went down below. So we see there's a no meteorite anywhere. Except that a meteorite landed. So it would be somewhere. There's a shadow orb. Destroy three of them and I'll summon the Eater of Worlds. Is that back there for us? Yeah, we should just get uh, destroyed in the same spot. Perfect. Oh, so we have to 
find the meteorite. It's not really on the surface there. Fighting planetary bulbs. Usually, if you see them, you can just uh, break them open and then you just uh, switch to your flying saucer. Yeah, you can just shoot your bow. So, we're gonna have to make the uh, helmet defense. What did we do? We had the jellyfish like this. We made a second diving helmet. And then we did ice skates. I think we found ice skates in there. sit here and then just uh, do this possible. Luckily this character had the phantasm bow. or not accidentally landing. Here we go, so we should be able to craft it here. Oh, no, we need to get closer. Shadow scales, bones, and rotten chunks. Let's see what it is. So where is this? Right, uh, right up here. Let's just blend straight to the surface. That's 
sucks. I thought it was just uh, bones. I have to get these shells. What is it then? Is he dead because uh, we defeated the wall of flesh? Has he not come back yet? Maybe not. Maybe he's still dead. Yeah, why isn't it working? Shadow scales, bones, and what? To file mushrooms or something? What the heck? <laughs> jungle spores. So it's bones, jungle spores, and shadow scales. Okay. It was jungle spores. So that's what we needed. Let's go here. Should be jungle spores in this chest. Or maybe it was in the chest in the middle. It was in this one. Oh, it wasn't. Here we go, jungle spores. So it's just a quick stop to clear the inventory quick. these and jungle spores. <clears throat> so that's what it was. We just uh, messed up the, the one ingredient. We just fly over there. What's happening? Prismatic uh, Laceling. So we can catch this, right? Yep. Prismatic Laceling. And I believe if you kill this thing, you summon a boss. Things are so delicate, you must be careful not to damage it. So this would be a new boss you fight. If you kill that thing, the boss uh, should be summoned. So it's before the water. <clears throat> yeah, it's maybe right here where this big hole is. Oh, uh, big hole that we explored already. Perfect. So now off of this thing and then we can craft it uh, so we have the void bag we just need one void bag but uh void vaults we need multiples of them so we bring one to the other world so just make like a yeah you could always access the void ball with this thing anyways there's no point to carry one of these around like 83 shadow scales perfect so what do we do? Well, there's a blast protection. So I accidentally just uh, destroy the thing. Okay. So guess we got that done. Maybe we'll just do like uh, one episode of clearing the underworld and uh, clearing the dungeon. I'm not sure if we explore the map. We can see, uh, we haven't explored much of it again, but. Trust us, it is, it is all mined out. It is all mined out. There's like barely, barely anything left. Although, uh, flying through the place, you would have to guess that. We did mine most of the place and opened up all the chests. We should have opened up like most of the chests or much all of the chests. So much obsidian thing. And then I uh, hope that it uh, doesn't crash the computer and then uh, destroy your save file or something. So at least then we go to here, we could loot everything down again. So that's pretty cool. Water actually did get down. Usually water uh, evaporates before it comes through. So we could fight a uh, Plantera. Which would be enraged instantly because we're not in the jungle, right? Oh no. Ah, uh, so we saw 
have some bulbs that you can even spawn like uh, right at the very bottom, right at the very bottom, uh, right where the uh, underworld starts. I'm just gonna fill my gear so his items drop uh, down there. There we go. Well, I see you just kill Pantera as much as you want in your world, you just keep spawning. You just have to find the orbs. Then we got the turtle shell, find the frozen turtle shell. So we'll be moving to a uh, expert world pretty soon. Accessories and like uh, separate videos where like uh, here's the accessory of Iron Guy. It's these shadow chests. We're gonna try to open them later, but we can't because we need a shadow key. But we do have a shadow key. So we'll just go teleport home until it's like 46 minutes. That's good. Ah, let me just go quick stack everything. Uh, take everything out of the void vault, right? Oh, did we already have some uh, void vaults and uh, furniture somewhere? Because we're noticing it a uh, quick stack. So maybe we made an extra one. Oh, there's three right here. So if you want to go to a different world, you could bring a safe. You could place the safe. You could place the piggy bank and the void vault. And the inventory is shared between worlds. So if you like deposit something from this world, do any of these things, and then go to another world, you can withdraw the items from those things. So we don't have any room for torches. Like, uh, mud doesn't have any room for anything. And this lace swing would be something that we caught with the uh, butterfly net. So that's why it's always good to carry the butterfly net. You might find our prismatic lace wings, you might find pink fairies out there, which are a little bit rarer or something. We'll just throw bones in here. Let me just have these things, so we'll end the episode, and then we'll just go collect a chest from the dungeon, go collect shadow chests, go collect maybe water candles, and then make an expert world. There's still stuff to do here, right? You can still come here, mine things, but on the expert world, maybe enemies will drop more gold and more items, maybe. So there we go, we'll just uh, put the shadow scales in here. And then we'll save the game. Hope it doesn't crash it. So we'll be uh, clearing the dungeon and the underworld. Pretty one of the last things to do in the world. 